everyone welcome to playing with rough so i had made one video about the clash of kings new array interface so this is the second part about it and probably the last one about this array interface because so far the changes i had found out in the array interface are, will be in here so basically clash of king used to have three or four options for arrays inside here but right now there's only one and you can access the other options from here which is array overview array exercise and so on so this is the first enhancement they have made second one that is noticeable and very useful for the players is the array overview system before this uh, we can only check out the array overview properly like just all together if i'm not wrong but right now here you can access the array arrays and their position properly so if i click on infantry array and check out for the fourth position i can just check out the inf arrays i have for infantry on fourth position same for cavalry archer siege engines so this is a really good enhancement for the class of king players this is the first one the second one is um, they have made changing arrays very easy like before the arrays for a position used to come um, horizontally so you couldn't check out the stats they give or what kind of attributes they have without clicking on them but as they come now vertically so you can just like scroll around and check out what kind of attributes they will give if you equip them on that particular position. So this is a really beautiful and good initiative from Clash of King. And also the array exercise enhancement for reverse review. Here you can just like access the positions and kind of color of attributes you can get on them so if i'm on infantry if i check the orange attribute the most common orange attributes is infantry health and pike throwing skill which is very good also for cavalry archer and siege engines so this is really a good enhancement saying for all the position you can check out them so before it was not really uh, it was a bit hard to find out what kind of arrays gives what kind of attributes but they have now made it really easier and simpler so this is the another addition that i have noticed so far which helps the players also um, in here you can like uh, if you want to synthesize a particular one you you can do it from just the arrays and also from the area overviews so that you can it can help out with your enhancing or enhancement uh, this is so far I, I think the best interface they could come up with and uh, I really appreciate their effort and thanks for watching guys i hope you guys like the video and it helped a bit um, goodbye take care